Ready Ease, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Emily, and today you already know what day it is. We are doing our November favorites. Just to let you know, there isn't much home decor in this favorites video, mostly because I didn't really buy anything new this month. The holidays are coming, so I'm trying to save as much as I can, and that way things can go towards gifts for my loved ones. But I do have a few things that I have been obsessing over, and I definitely can't wait to show you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. So first, it's gonna have to be my hair. Just kidding, this doesn't count, but I did get a haircut this month, or it was the end of October, I can't remember. So I cut quite a bit off, but I really do love it. Right now it's not styled or anything really, it's like whatever, but when I do style it, it comes out so cute. But anyways, let's really get started. We're gonna start over here in the living room. So first of all, tell me why I just did my whole apartment tour and I already feel like changing up this space. I've always kind of had the idea of changing it up, but I don't know, now I feel like I really, really want to change it up. But we're gonna start over here at the coffee table. My main favorite lately has been fresh flowers and eucalyptus. This eucalyptus is a little bit dry. It was from the last eucalyptus that I had in my shower. I have fresh eucalyptus in the shower right now. So these I got from Trader Joe's. They're so pretty. The camera shined them off as a bit hot pink, I think, but the color is actually more of a, like a deep purple. I love having my fresh flowers right here at the coffee table because it's the first room that you walk into so you automatically are drawn to it. And if you get a nice color, then it's such a great way to just add that pop of color in your home. Obviously, everything's a little bit neutral in my space. So having this nice pop of purple or pink, such a cute way to add a little feminine touch. And speaking of flowers and feminine touches, I got this new Target vintage, vintage inspired, okay? Vintage inspired art piece. I am planning on using, um, what is it called? Robin Buff on here, just to give it more of a true like vintage look. So this one was actually on sale. As you can see, there are some stains on there, but I'm just gonna say that that honestly gives it more of a vintage feel. If you go to any antique shop, or vintage shop, you're going to find art piece to house stains. So I'm not even mad about it. And it was a good price. And I've been really trying to add more pieces like this, more like vintage art pieces. As you know, I have this one from Etsy, which I really, really love. And I just want to slowly add more pieces similar to that around my space and have a mix of like this type of artwork that I have, along with more vintage or vintage inspired pieces. All right, now let's make our way into the bedroom. So this sheet and duvet color scheme that I have going on is such a favorite every single time I do it. So I usually swap out every time I'm doing like my laundry, the sheets with new ones and stuff, but I love the warm tones in here, especially for November. Like this was such like a perfect, perfect choice and I just wanted to keep it the same. So instead of swapping these out with new sheets, I just washed them and put them back on because, I mean, come on, it's just so cute. But yeah, we're gonna say goodbye to the terracotta and this beautiful taupe color sheets. I love these. So this duvet cover is actually from Amazon. You can find it on my Amazon favorites. I will have those linked down below, of course. And then the sheets are from Parachute Home. They're a little bit on the pricier side. We'll have them linked down below as well and possibly even with a dupe that's more affordable and next we're gonna go in here you probably already know this month's favorite has to also be some of my new organizational stuff first of all this shelving unit I can't get over it I'm so happy with it because it solved so many of my problems super easy to build super affordable and it holds these awesome bins that are basically you can find them anywhere I even think I got those same bins on Amazon as well. I mean, it's just such a great solution. Definitely, definitely recommend these bins if you're looking for a more affordable option compared to the ones that you would have to build from, for example, Ikea. And then another favorite, absolute favorite, are these shoebox bins. They are so good. I love them so much, which again, were so easy to build. I think these were a little bit more pricey compared to the other stuff that I purchased from Amazon, but I still highly recommend 
send them. They're stackable and I also have another set that I can put up there but I just have it tucked away in the storage unit so that way I can just grab that when needed whenever I buy more shoes. And while we're at it, let me share my absolute favorite shoes. My loafers have got to be my absolute favorite shoe for this month and I'm gonna keep wearing them throughout December. They are going to make my outfits just look so good, which by the way, pair perfectly with tights, which is another favorite. I'll show you which ones I got, but yeah, these shoes are just it, you guys. They're so, so cute. I've always wanted loafers, but none of them really look like my style until I saw these because of how chunky they are. So you probably don't know this unless you went to either high school or the beginning of college with me or you're one of my best friends, but I went through like a grungy stage back in the day and I loved like chunky boots, chunky shoes, all that stuff. So those shoes just really are my style not a past style of myself but it's a style that i really really love i'm just not a huge fashion person like i don't know how to make all my different styles like come together i just have a bunch of different styles that i love but these shoes are seriously such a fun way to dress up and they're very comfortable and yeah i highly highly recommend these I love them. I do wish that the little thingy right here was gold instead of silver, but I mean, it works. It works. We like to mix metals. It's totally fine. But yeah, 10 out of 10 for these loafers. And like I was saying, those loafers go perfectly with tights. These tights come in a three pack, okay? They are from Amazon. They're just sheer tights. Here's a better way for you to see them. They're just sheer. And again, I went through a phase in high school and college where I would wear sheer tights under shorts, skirts, all that stuff. And I really think that for the holiday season, they are such a great way to elevate like a simple dress, a simple skirt. So highly recommend these. All right, next up, I have got to share these lipsticks with you. They are from the brand Beauty For Certain, and I had never tried this brand, but now I'm obsessed. The stay on these is so good. It's like a matte finish. And the way I came across these was for Halloween when I was doing my shopping for like my outfit and stuff like that. You could see here, these colors are pretty dark. And then these are more on the lighter side. So number 22 is the one that I'm wearing on my lips right now. What I love, like besides the color of this one, and honestly, I just love all of them for their own reasons. I just really like the formula. Sure, it comes off a little bit when you're eating, but you just place a little bit more on. It's not the ones that like completely stay on throughout like eating and stuff, but I don't mind reapplying. But the, fin but the finish, I just really, really like. It's a matte finish, but it's not like other ones that I've tried where it makes my lips feel really dry, if you know what I mean. Okay, next favorite, and this is the first that I've ever shared a favorite like this, but it ends with us. When, when did I ever share a book for a monthly favorite? Tell me. Tell me. I don't think I have. So you know me, I'm not a huge, huge reader. It's gonna have to take a really good book for me to set some time aside, sit down and enjoy, because I, I just can't sit still. I can't sit still and read a book. I feel like I'm supposed to be doing other stuff and then I spiral. But this book, girl, I make time for it because it's so good. I'm almost, I'm more than halfway done by a little bit. I'm trying to finish this before my trip that I have in a few days because my best friend, wait for it, She got me the sequel because she knew that I was loving it. She let me borrow this one. So almost through it. It's so good. I've already cried. I've already cried. And she told me that they're making this into a movie. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And now let's make our way back into the living room where I wanna share the next bit of favorites. If you love scents, then this is going to be your jam. 
These right here are Zoom Mists. And if you haven't tried this brand yet, I highly, highly recommend. They are seriously some of the best that I have tried. They use all natural and just good for you ingredients. So there's nothing sketchy that you're spraying on your furniture or on yourself because these are room and body mist. So whenever I'm spraying it in my apartment, I'm spraying it on myself too. I just love the scents. Frankincense and mirth i don't know what that is but frankincense is literally the best it just makes it feel like you're on a like retreat somewhere like like a nice super calming spa i don't even know how to explain it but all of these honestly just smell that way this one is lemongrass i love lemongrass so much i even have lemongrass incense because the smell is just but also a nature-y, self-love, self-care type of smell is how I would explain it. And then this one is sandalwood citrus. Super good too. I love all of them, honestly. All of them are so good. Ugh, it already smells so good in here. So I always love to spray the couch. Okay, and I'll just do one big one over here. And I'll do one up here. Gotta do one in the kitchen, breakfast nook, office. The bathroom, of course, and then the bed, and then myself. And walk into it. Love it. All right, now we are at our last favorite, and I know I've shared this with you guys before, but I have to share it again because it's a completely different like feature that I use within the app and that is the calm app if you are familiar with the calm app then you've probably seen daily j with jay shetty it's very nice doing these like daily very short meditations with him they're literally eight minutes long so in the morning after the gym i start my little like morning routine i will start playing daily j and every single day it's a different topic and it's kind of just like little reminders, things that you might already know, things you really need to hear. I don't know, it's always different and I always get something out of it. Yeah, I just love the Calm app, honestly. There's so many great features on there. All right, you guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope that you liked it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below. And if you have not yet subscribed, then don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. But thank you again for watching. I hope you're happy and healthy and I love you and I will see you next time.